my beautiful people welcome back to alizé's beauty now today it is a big treat for myself and just i am so excited to introduce you guys the max selena collection now thankfully i was blessed to be able to purchase pr pretty much almost everything except the lip liners but like hey that's okay no biggies oh my god i'm just so excited and one thing i just want to run back a little bit too is for all my 90s babies who are excited who grew up listening to selena who, who we were able to see her like live on shows sabado gigante you know you name it is like i am so proud to be a mexican-american just oh my god this just i'm a, such a big fan i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are big fans of her too and not not even just me even my daughter me listener she grew up listening to her now so she knows selena she knows her songs which is really nice of course you know your girl had to represent a little bit there and I had to come up with this look. I had to do something because I'm like, nope, I got to do it. And I got to do this right. So I got I to gotta do it. I got to do it. So, and I know a lot of people wonder like, okay, what is so big deal about Selena? What is like so amazing about her in this neck? It's like, you don't understand. To see a Latina naked in the industry and about to do the crossover, like we could definitely relate, you know, as a Mexican-American, you know, it's hard being Mexican. It's hard being American, you know, people both ways is you know just a whole bunch of craziness it's, it's hard but to see someone who has made it and not just even her even her brothers her brothers her brother and sister should i say his brother and sister they have done a phenomenal job keeping her legacy alive and us as fans i'm so thankful that we have tried our best to you know keep going to, you know keep going you know i love it i love it and people don't understand like even growing up seeing novelas you look at people, they have blonde hair, blue eyes, or whatever. And that's not the case. You know, I'm darker complexion. I got black hair. I got dark brown eyes. Like, I want to see me on the screen and be able to say, okay, I can make it too. And that is one of my biggest things. And even how what made me start YouTube is like, I want you to be you. Don't change you for no one. Be you. And so, and one thing I am so glad I could even show you guys my grandma rest in peace oh my gosh she went to the boutique in the salon i got a picture on my little thing let me see if i can show you guys where she is right there rest in peace i love my grandma but um she went there like oh my goodness she took pictures she went to texas you know the whole the whole nine the whole thing and i can't wait i haven't been there believe it or not i can't wait till that's on my book list i have to go i have to be there but anyway sorry for rambling all right, here we go for the collection. I was going to do the look and record it, but with the kids, you know, as a mom, I hope you guys know it's tough. So you have the noise in the background. Even right now, you guys heard, so I apologize. But, all right, so here we go. And if you guys want, I could do swatches as well. This is the Selena right here. Da, 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 da. This is the Selena eyeshadow. Look at that. That is just so cute. Like, they did really good when it came to this. So, her mom and Susette, I ain't gonna lie, they did excellent. And I love how not only does it come with the mirror, but it has a picture of her. Like, I was telling my daughter, I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna put it, like, in a frame or something. So, love that. And these shadows ain't no joke. Because that's what I have on today. And, oh my goodness. I love that. Boom. Look at that. It's gorgeous. I hope my camera could pick it up good. Unfortunately, I apologize if it doesn't but those colors are excellent love it love it love it and it is a uh, eight shadow pan and then it has two shimmers a couple masks a couple metallics this anyone could wear and it's funny because it takes me back to the day when we used to do the lip liner the shadow like that it wasn't too crazy it was more about the lips if you think about back in the day and the wing liner which is crazy but i'm gonna show you that so the next one I'm going to do, because I'm pretty sure you guys seen swatches already, and I will swatch them. But I want to show you a little bit of the stuff before we proceed. All right, so the next one is going to be the highlighter. And I love how this feels. It is just super nice. This is just, like, just love it. If You can feel and I love that you can't scratch it all, so it's going to be there for a long time. All right, so then, obviously, you open it. You also have the Selena little thing right here. Like I said, I'm keeping these. And then this was so hard for me to mess with it today because I was like, oh, I didn't even want to touch it. Because you seen, you can see a little bit I touched it already. Oh, my goodness. So let me swatch this one for you guys real quick because I'm pretty sure you guys are like, let me see how that looks. Trust me, it's hard to swatch it when you see the rose, you don't even want to touch it. So what you about to do right there. 
and on my skin it looks gorgeous and believe me a little bit goes a long way and i don't it doesn't matter what skin type you are believe me this is gonna this is gonna be nice excellent all right so let's proceed to the next one all right so the next one i was able to get obviously this is my bd bd bomb bomb this is the liquid i fell in love with this one look at this one this is the old school one and then look at this one so i definitely know we're getting more product than before so definitely because i even checked the ounces i believe this was like one ounce the new one and the other one is like point something we'll go back to that later i'm not i'll write it down for you guys i just want to proceed i don't want to take too long with the videos all right but definitely love it and then i did swatch them both they're the same so the quality is still good all right so i'm just gonna swipe the lip gloss i know some of you don't like lip gloss i love lip gloss this one i could wear by itself or people could top it i personally like it by itself so that is the lip gloss for that one look at that love it and i love that they're not sticky like some of them you know they'll kind of go in your hair and like, no this one runs pretty good all right so next one is gonna be this one is called let's see hey dad pizza you know how the girl loved pizza that was one of her favorites so yeah, my son's like pizza. So let me go ahead and swatch this one. It's gonna be right over here. And I love this one. Any kind of complexion that you do have, especially you're in the middle to deeper complexion, this is gonna look gorgeous on you. Love that one. And that is the second one right here. I apologize for noticing the background, trying to do videos, but you know, with this quarantine, I hope everybody's doing okay. It's just a lot of tough. Kids are here. I like you. <laughs> All right. So next one is gonna be the washing machine. And then this one, I'm gonna swatch as well. This is a little bit more like iridescent a little bit. But I love this one. This is super cute too. I love the glasses, plain and simple. So I love it. All right, so I'll show you that one. That is the washing machine right there, right there. So if you really don't want something so like visible, that'll be that one. Or use it more as a topper, that will be that one. All right, so we're gonna continue with the next. So that was all three lip glosses right there. Boom, hold on, let me try to flip them so you guys can see. Do I recommend the lip glosses? Yes, I love these. You can't go wrong with lip gloss, especially you're the kind of person that don't like to wear makeup that often. Boom, you don't want your lips dry. All right, so we are gonna go in with the liquid mattes now. And then I know a lot of people did their makeup look with this red one already, but I like, no, I'm gonna do the pink one, like the fuchsia pink. Okay, so the red one is called, it is Siempre Selena, Siempre. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. All right. Go ahead and swatch it. And these are, I love this red. It's like a blue red, so especially for my complexion. I love it. All right. So that one is that one right there. Love it. Can't go wrong. And I applied mine without a lip liner. I love it. Because remember, you can always use the tip and kind of go wrong first. All right, so that one was the red one, which is Siempre Selena. All right, so the next one I'm going to do, this is so cute. It's like a mauve, like a nude. I love this one. This one's called Big Bertha. And if you guys remember the buzz, Big Bertha. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch this as well. Right there. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. This is going to buy herself some doubles around here. All right, so that is that one. Big Bertha right there. Super, super cute. I love that. love that. love it. All right. So next one is the one I'm actually wearing right now. I'll still swatch it on my hand so you guys can see. All right. So that one's... I'm going to do it in front of the red one just because I already got the other one. All right. And the pink one, it is called Dame Un Beso. Give me a kiss. All right. So that one is that one, the first one. Love that. I just love how it makes... I love how it lays on my hand and even on my lips nice and soft. So make that excellent. But they're really good when it comes to lipsticks. So you can't complain. And the way just the shades they picked out, I feel like it coordinates with any kind of skin tone. And that's one thing I'm always looking for and I love. So, bang. Because even my daughter could wear it. And my daughter's a little bit more deeper complexion than I am. So, boom. All right. So those go the three. Right here for those. Love it. Do I recommend these? Obviously, yes. Why wouldn't you? The shades are just gorgeous. All right, so the next thing we're going to go into is uh, for a lipstick. So I'm just going to take the top off so we don't have to waste time. And there they go. 
All right, so the first one that I'm gonna show you is called Queen of Cumbia. This is a matte lipstick. So I'm gonna put it right over here. That one is that one. Super cute. And I love the way they smell. It's hard to explain, but it smells good. I like that one. So Queen of Cumbia, that's that one. And that one was the matte. Now we got Selena Vive. This is a cream sheen lipstick. You can't go wrong with that one either. So it's going to go next. So this is a little bit more translucent, which is not that bad. But I love this. Super, super cute. Like I said, that one's Selena, Selena Vive. Bam. Can't go wrong. All right. And then the next one is going to be... Inovidable, inolvidable. Oh my god, I can't even tell. Inovi inolvidable. I apologize. Don't mind my spell. This is a frost lipstick. And this one has a little bit of shimmer, which I, I love shimmer to be honest. I like it. So that one is gonna be this one right there. Super, super cute. There you go. Bam. I love that. Alright. Next one is gonna be this one it is called la reina which is the queen of course you know that all right and there's like a nice brown oh my god this man this one definitely takes me back to the days that one right there if anybody remembers that with well, maybe a good lip liner or brown or even a black believe it even a black lip liner bam you blend it in bad mm -hmm. gorgeous gorgeous and let me see this one is just a regular cream lipstick so can't go wrong so let me pull up the lipsticks all right so those are those oops sorry those are those and i know i'm pretty sure you guys seen how they have that little like laser flower on there let me see if i could put one up for you let's see that it is just so cute just the details on these oops sorry let me see if i could focus it for you let's see there it goes Look at the detail on that. It's just the small little details. That is so cute. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll be honest, I don't even want to use it because it looks so cute. All right, so there goes the lipsticks. All right, so that's all the lipsticks. So there's four lipsticks, three liquid masks, and three lip glosses. And obviously we have the highlighter, which you guys seen was super cute. And then we have obviously the eyeshadow palette. Let me take that out. So I'm just going to show you how the shimmers look. Because, oh my God, the shimmer is just gorgeous. I'm putting it right over here. And if you guys want to use it on wet or not, it's completely up to you. There goes the shimmer right there. There goes one. I'm not going to just swatch them because I know so many videos already there. We got the swatches. But one of my favorites was this one. That's what I actually used today. I use, that's actually good. Thank bless you, boo-boo. All right, he wants to come over. No, Noah. He wants to come and visit. Hold on, puppy, okay? All right, he's like, hold on. All right, so let me go ahead and take a quick pause. All right, I apologize that he wants to peep in here. All right, so, but basically, these are the shadows. The ones I used today, in case you're wondering, is going to be this one right over here. Then it's going to be the deeper one. And then I use the glitter. And then that was it to create just all those three. I'm like, boom, just mix and blend and you are done. Next time, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on the shadow look, I will. Just, just wear everything, like I said, with the kids. You guys see, unfortunately, they're ready to pop in here. But do I recommend even the palette? Yes. The palette, it is so gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. I ain't gonna lie. I want to buy me another one just to keep for, just in case, because you never know. And they are available now, even at Ulta. So, definitely, definitely go ahead and check that out. Like, for me, I try to get the Instagram one where, you know, where you got her big click. And I already had it in the bag. It didn't work. I wasn't able to get the vault or the bag. But, you know, it's okay. As long as we get a little bit of something. Even if you're only able to get one lipstick, hey, you know, you never know what could happen. So, you, there's a lot of people giving away stuff. I'm going to see if I could give any away. Like, I'm going to try to see if I could purchase any more. I'm trying to figure something out because everywhere you go, they sell out like this. Just, they're not playing. There's not a joke. I'm like, oh my goodness. But I definitely... 
want to thank even Sanaya Diamonds if she's watching. I hope she is. She has been one of the girls who's been following me since I began YouTube. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Please go check her out. It's called Sanaya Diamonds or Sanaya's World. I believe she changed the last one and stuff. But I definitely want you to send me your email because I definitely got something for you. So please send me your email. And for everybody else, thank you. Thank you so much for just, you know, show me love. Thank you so much, you know, for supporting my channel. You know, I definitely appreciate it. Believe me, it is not as easy as people think it is to do, you know, like reviews and this and that. And I always try to do my best. But I definitely want to appreciate you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my, my, you know, my reviews, my show, my whatever you want to call it. Sorry, I'm stuttering. But I definitely appreciate you guys so much. And... I hope you guys are staying safe with all this COVID-19 going on. I pray to God you guys are doing good. I'm praying for all of you guys because it's not easy. I know there's, you know, this stuff is serious. You know, unfortunately, you know, stay home, be safe, and don't forget you're beautiful no matter what. Bye-bye.